Hi everyone, welcome to the calculator video tutorial. We're going to be going over the basic functionality of the calculator, as well as a couple of tips or tricks. So you'll notice when the calculator is first run, we start off with a display of 0.0. .0. And we are currently in the left hand side. Now, any number that we add from the numerical keypad is added to our left-hand side. Clear returns the display to 0.0. .0. Now, you will have to implement the four functions, divide, multiplication, subtraction, and addition, as well as equals. For example, with a cleared state or with a new calculator, we start off with 0.0. .0. If we do 7, currently in the left hand side, then an operator, for example addition, we now switch to the right hand side. Any number that we add here is displayed as the right hand side. When we hit equals, the number displayed is in the right hand side. Again clear resets our state to 0.0, .0 and we return to the left hand side. If for example we did addition, we are start off from the left hand side, utilize our operator, and are switched to the right hand side. If we hit equals, this is displayed as the right hand side. However, if we hit another operator, this has now become our left hand side. And anything entered after this is currently in the right hand side. And again, the displayed number is the right hand side. You'll also have to implement the decimal. For example, one decimal one will add the additional number after the decimal point has been pressed. Additional presses do not change that behavior. Please also note there will be undefined behaviors that you don't have to worry about, and please do not test for them. This includes equals equals, decimal, then an operator to the right hand side, and any number, operator, and decimal. This is to help keep the complexity of calculator from becoming out of control. Now a couple of hints that we'd recommend is definitely drawing out the state diagram. This can help you decide how to transition between all of your states. And it can also be helpful to display the doubles and store them as both a string and doubles to help you build up the left and right hand side respectively. Good luck with your assignment.